In this video, I'm going to review the Victigen Simple Plus Lithium Ion Battery for e-bikes. It comes in 36 volt and 48 volt options with a capacity of 15 amp hours or 20 amp hours. This specific one is 48 volts, 20 amp hours. The current pricing can be found in the description section below. The company reached out to me and I looked at their product and it seemed good. I'm building a Bafang rear hub conversion on an old mountain bike and I needed a battery and this one seemed to fit the bill. It has Samsung 21750E cells. Samsung is a good brand. It also has smart BMS protection. It seems to be good for e-bike kits like Bafang, Volmart, AW, e-bike Ling, Pexmore, and other ones. And I just want to test it out. You can see the screen for information from their Amazon page. And then I'm gonna unbox it and then put it on my e-bike. This is the box that came in. They accidentally sent me a whole box with three of these. So I contacted them and I'm going to ship two of them back. Inside. This is the battery itself. This is an instruction manual. You can pause at any time to see this in detail. These are the package contents. There's the mounting plate, the battery itself with a key, charger, cable, and then the user manual. These are the different specifications for the different size batteries. It comes in 36 volt, 15 amp hour, and 20 amp hour, and also 48 volt, 15 amp hour, and 20 amp hour. This is the size diagram with the different dimensions over here. This is how you install it. There's a power indicator on the battery. One red and three green is 100%. One red, two green is 75%. One red, one green is 50% and one red is 25%. There's a charging port. There's a install plate. There's some contact information. The adapter, output wires, the battery lock. There's some battery usage tips, warning and troubleshooting. Let's take a look at the battery itself. Here's the model information. It's a simple plus rechargeable lithium battery with 46.8 volts at 20 amp hours. The model number is EB960 and it uses Samsung batteries. Here's the battery indicator and it doesn't seem to be working. I think we need to turn the battery on and now it works. So this is 100% full. This is the on and off switch that I turned on. This is the charging port. The bottom, this is a lock. Looking at the other side, this is where you put the key. If you put the key in, you can lock it or unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, you can slide this plate off. This is the plate that we screw into the frame. These are the contacts. This is the other side of the battery. Imagine the mount attached to the frame, you would put the battery in and slide it into place, then use your key and lock it in place. The other end comes with the Anderson connector. In this box, we have the charger. I plug the charger into the battery and then you can plug this into the wall outlet. There's an LED indicator. If it's charging, it'll be red and if it's fully charged, it'll be green. There's not much to test right now, but I can test the voltage and I just wanna make sure that it reads close to 48 volts. Let me just plug these in. When it's off, it's reading 25 volts. When I turn it on, it reads 49. So we know that we're getting at least 48 volts. Even though the text is upside down like this, I liked how much cleaner it was having this cable down here because it's closer to the controller. These are the two water bottle mounts. If I mounted it here, this mount is actually interfering with my lower chain rings and chain. So if you had a single chain ring, this might work. Another thing that might work is there's offset holes on the left and right, so you can mount it here so that it clears. This battery didn't come with screws. I had some extra screws that were meant for the discs for my rear hub that I didn't use. So I'm just using those. What I figured worked the best, even though I have to 
cover this cable right here on the other end was installing this right here. So that way the battery text is facing upwards. There's enough clearance from this controller and then I can also slide it in like such. I'll show you guys how I connected the battery. We have an Anderson connector on the end of the battery and then for the controller we have an XT60. They sell this Anderson to XT60 cable. These Anderson cables are both male and female. Make sure that the battery is turned off and just connect them together. And then on this side, this is a female end, and then this end connects over here. Pedals this one. I'm getting 11 miles per hour. Two is 15. Three is 18.7. Four is 22.6. And five is 25.6. This is my review of the Simple Plus battery. What I liked most about it was the simplicity of the install. There's this bracket here that just bolts onto the bike frame where the water bottle connects, and then you slide this battery on and lock it. For the connector, it comes with this Anderson connector. I had to use an adapter to convert from the Anderson to an XT60, as you can see right here. It's nice that it has an on and off switch. Here's the charging port, and then the battery fits in between the frame, and it has a Samsung battery. This is the 48 volt 20 amp hour battery and so far I've ridden 13 percent of the battery and I've gotten 3.4 miles so at this rate I'm gonna get 22 23 miles when it's at zero percent and I've been riding quite aggressively. The hub that I have is a 26 inch 500 watt rear buffang hub motor and if you want to see that install I have a video for it in the description section below. In terms of the longevity, I don't know how long it's going to last. They usually last around 1,000 charges or a couple of years. Time will tell. So far it's been working well and then I can check the battery level over here as well. If I were to offer some suggestions, I would have liked them to include the two bolts that hold onto the e-bike frame. It's only 50 cents of material and it would have made this install a lot better. Otherwise, you'd have to run to the hardware store to get it if you didn't have it. If you're in the market for a e-bike battery, you can check this one out. A link to the product will be in the description section below. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Leave a question or a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and take care.